actually in a Starbucks right now. It is so freaking hot in here. My makeup is melting off my face. I haven't worn makeup in like a month because when I just get really busy, I just decide I'm not gonna bother putting makeup on, especially if I'm not leaving the house because you know I have my studio at my house. So, But it is really hot in this Starbucks. Anyway, G's just left. I was hanging out with G today. Her and I needed a catch up to get back inspired into everything. Um, we've both been hitting a bit of a wall. I think I've shown G, by the way, in some of my other vlogs. She's one of my friends from college. We both graduated together. She's amazing. She's a rapper and an actor and a designer. So she's got like so many talents and she's amazing. Um, and she has helped me today. I was feeling really low, just like, uninspired and I I kind of um, was able to get through that over the last few weeks I've been trying to think of how I want to kind of pivot my business a little bit more in the direction I want to go and I was able to just talk to her about my ideas and get uplifted again so that was really cool we went to the art gallery of New South Wales this morning and we just got really inspired by this Del Catherine Barton painting and like her work is just so amazing and if you've ever seen any of Romance Was Born's collections they work with her quite a lot I think they've done so like a couple of collections where they've used her artworks as their prints or they've turned it into their prints and they work like they collaborate with her and I, I find that really inspiring as well I, I'd love to collaborate with an artist one day with my collections and incorporate their work as prints yeah so today I've been just going through some ideas for new collections um, thinking of some doing maybe doing some t-shirt concepts and things like that which I haven't done yet so um, that'll be cool I'd love to bring out some more pieces that are just like really easy to wear um, you know lower end of the budget um, that really just have some kind of message to them so that's what I've been working on lately so yeah I hope you enjoy this studio vlog I'm gonna it's I'm not in the studio right now but I'm working here at the Starbucks and um, I'll probably film through the weekend. I'm actually on break at the moment, so I still work part-time at a before and after school care. So we're actually just starting school holidays now. So that means that I've got two whole weeks where I can just work on fashion and my business. And I love spending that time just really diving deep into my work. So I'll try and film as much as I can, but um, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you uh, throughout the weekend. Bye. So my hot, sunny Sydney spring day turned into a very wet evening. Um, I'm now just heading down to what we call Stitch and Bitch in Marrickville. Um, getting together with a few girls who just also like sewing and chilling out and meeting some new people. So that's been really fun. I've only been a few times, but those girls are awesome. I love you guys. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll do much filming there, but I, um, I, I'll probably pick this back up tomorrow and talk to you guys when I'm back in the studio. Bye for tonight. Hey guys, it's Monday night. We've just had a long weekend, so um, I ended up kind of just chilling out and hanging out with a lot of friends over the weekend. So I haven't really been back in the studio until tonight, but um, tomorrow someone is coming over to film me in my studio for a documentary on sustainable fashion. So that's really cool. Um, but I thought I've got this plant, which is dead, and I've got that plant, which is dead as well. So. I thought um, I better replace them before she comes in and films because that just it seems seems too sad. I went and went to Bunnings and I bought I bought these. So this is another pothos like I have in my office inside, and then I got a string of pearls and I got a discount because she. The girl at the register thought that it kind of looked a bit sad, but I kind of picked it because there was like five to pick out of and it had the most dangly bits or the longest dangly bits. Um, so I think she took like 20% off or something. It was 
meant to be nine dollars and I think it was maybe like six or seven or something I don't know but that was pretty cool so I'm going to plant my new plant babies now and I'm gonna hang them up in here because I spent the last few weeks tidying up this space it's I'm in my garage at the moment if you couldn't tell um, and this is where I have my sewing machine set up there's my overlocker the desks are still a bit of a mess but the floor is a lot cleaner than it was before and now I've got my sewing machine here um, and I just move my chair between the two and use this table as a cutting table and I've got another table set up now which is just like a plastic one with the fold-out legs that I sometimes use that to cut on or to organize the cut pieces into their garment piles if that makes sense um, yeah so I'm gonna plant up these plants and I also just went and grabbed a ream of paper so that I can like nice thicker paper than what I have so that I can um, print some weekly planner sheets because I went to Kiki K to try and buy some for my planner that I can refill but they obviously it's like beginning of October it's the first of October so they didn't have any financial year ones that go July to June because they said they they sell out of them like in March or something anyway um, but I found a few free ones online so I'm just gonna print out my own and make do um, because I've decided I need to be more organized so yeah I'm gonna go plant these plants now and I'll show you what they look like when they're done and then they'll probably look even better tomorrow when we're in natural light instead of this horrible fluorescent light all right I've planted my little plant babies and I've moved them both so they're over here and like staggered now because there's already all these nails in the wood beam there so I think they look really cute I can't wait for this one actually both of them to start like growing down I got two that should um do that really nicely I have one of these in my office and it's grown all the way down the side of my bookshelf like that now so I'm really excited to see this one do the same thing and I've never had a string of pearls before but my mom has a really cute one in their bathroom they grow quite long as well so yeah I'm really excited about these plants I'm um, sorry I don't know if you guys are as excited about plants as I am but it's one of my things so yeah let me know if you have any growing tips for either of these because um, I'm really good at looking after my plants for like a set amount of time but then sometimes I'll get super busy and neglect them for like a week or two like fashion week this year I did that and I've just gone through and replaced a lot of plants or brought them back to life if they had a little bit left in them so I'm hoping that I can um, be more diligent with these ones and if I do need a break that I can find someone that will take care of them for me while I'm doing that so yeah let me know if you've got any tips for keeping pothos and string of pearls alive and happy all right I'm going to go inside now I think I'm going to print out those planner sheets now so that I can plan the rest of my week gonna get more of these clear panel skirts made that's what all these pieces are on the table um, I'm in the process of doing that and also working on some new stuff so yeah and I've decided kind of on a whim that I might have a little go at doing Inktober. Now today's the 1st of October so I might be running late for the first prompt but um, yeah I thought I would try and see if I can translate it into a fashion illustration version of Inktober. So I'm still going to use the prompts. I think I'm going to use the original prompts and um, or at least the original 2018 ones. I don't know if they're different from the first ones, but anyway, I'm gonna use like the official prompts. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to do that with Fashion Illustration and I did go and buy just one ink. I already have a couple of inks, so I'm gonna see what I can use, but I bought one Scarlet one. It's not like a very expensive one or anything, but I thought if I'm gonna incorporate ink, um, red would be a cool color to do. And yeah, so <laughs> I'm gonna go give that a go now and I'll film some of that and let you know how I go. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, so it's 
it's Tuesday morning and I didn't get to finish everything yesterday that I wanted to but I kind of decided it was a public holiday and I was just going to take it easy so um, it's Tuesday morning it's almost 8.30 and I've just printed this out this is from um, I think you say it Melina Haas but I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong um, I just got this as a freebie off her website and I had to fiddle around with it in Photoshop to make it print um, both on one A4 piece of paper. But I'm so happy because I didn't even realize I could do this with my printer. It actually printed all the way to the edge. I thought that there was always going to be a border, but that's really cool. So um, this is on some nicer paper than what I usually print on, so hopefully that'll be um, nice in my um, planner. This is a Kiki K planner. So I think this is the large size. I thought it was the medium, but then when I went to look at um, planner refills the other day, they were like, no, you're going to need the large one. So um, I've put, there's a bunch of things in here that are like Kiki K brands. And then there's actually just some extra ones like in here. I think those stickers are from Frankie magazine and these are just from Officeworks. I'm pretty sure. Although they, they might be from Kiki K. I can't remember. But I um, went to Officeworks and got some of their manila folders in the cool colors that they have and um, just cut them to match the other inserts I used to have. I can't even remember what they looked like. I think they were just blue, like the case. So I was finding it really hard to keep track of what Sam was doing and what I was doing. Like I would feel like I'd ask him the same question every day what he was doing whether we had anything on on the weekend and things like that. So I just realized I should be using my planner again. So I hadn't really used it um, this year at all, but um, you know, it's all set up, ready to go. It's just that the actual pages in here are all from last year. So I thought that I would just print out my own. So I'm gonna put these in here and I'll put my dates in and everything. Um, I think I'm going to play around with a few different layouts and see which one I really like and then I might, um, you know, print a whole year's worth. Um, I think you can buy some really nice ones on Etsy too and then print them yourself. So I might even have a look if it's um, worth me going and spending some money on that as well. But yeah, um, so I'm going to put some holes in this and cut it in the middle and put it in my planner and then there was another page that I found on Pinterest that I'm going to print out. I'll show you that as well. So this one is from the creativityexchange.com and it's just like um, a weekly sheet of to-dos, priorities. It's, I like seeing my whole week as one thing but then I find I still need this because there's certain things that need to be done on certain days and the list might be longer than just a little box like this. But um, I love planning out my week's meals. I've just started doing that over the last few weeks and then creating a shopping list based off that. So I thought I'd give that a go too. I think it must have been set up for, I think it's like um, American letter size paper or something because if you have a look on here, it's only got a little bit of white here, but then it's printed out with like an extra long bit. So um which, I mean, it doesn't matter heaps, but, um, yeah, I can play around with that too. Because at the moment I've been using these pads from Kiki K. So this is one that was just for a Thursday. And I think these are meant to be for the week, but I just make these for the day. Um, obviously this is for the week and I haven't been doing this every because I've been getting a new sheet every day I haven't been filling this in every day so it'll be kind of nice to have something that's meant to be for the week and then and then my you know day to days in the book so yeah that's kind of how I've been planning at the moment um but yeah can you guys let me know if you have like your go-to weekly planning sheets or daily planning sheets because I just think once you get in a rhythm with things like this, you find the right one, it can make life so much easier. Um, and I don't know if I've found it yet, but I'll give these ones a go and see how that is. I just realized, duh, this um, one that I put in my planner actually has 
the meal planning on here but it doesn't have a shopping list and obviously I'd need to take this out to the shops so anyway I'll still see if um, this still works with it by the way I've been watching so much of catnip um, catnip illustrations on YouTube she is so cute I love um, watching like YouTube videos and listening to podcasts where it's just about other creative people as well and if you haven't watched her yet you should check her out she's um she's got a few vlogs up and also just some other videos of like how to do certain things how to make like enamel pins and things like that so yeah she's a cutie and I just realized another thing I really like about this planning page layout is this daily tasks section because here's another pad that I have from Kiki K it's um I don't know, even know why I ended up with these ones because I don't even really like the color but um, I'm pretty sure they were on sale so this is kind of like my weekly th setup that I decided like I'm gonna try and do these things the same day every week but then I have this list at the top of things I need to do every day. So I need to like check my, any ads that I'm running, just check that I'm not going over budget or that they're actually like targeting the right people. Check my emails, go to the post office if I have any orders, post to Instagram, hopefully post to Instagram stories as well. Power pin, which means I go on Pinterest and just pin to a bunch of my like um, style boards so that, um, you know, if, if any of my customers are following me, it's kind of like style advice and things like that. And of course, pack orders if I've got any orders. And then each day I've got a list of things I need to do that day. So Mondays when I plan my Instagram posts, plan my Facebook posts, which I haven't really been doing lately, but anyway, um, I either order my groceries online or I just go and shop for them because sometimes we don't get enough groceries that it qualifies for a delivery. I try and do my meal planning um, and I try and plan my week and then I analyze my social media stats just to check if there's any ways I can be growing and things like that. Um, Tuesday I try and go for a run. I try and do a blog post although I think I've decided that these two I'm going to do every second week because they just take so much of my day and also like I've mentioned so many times I work at a before and after school care as well so on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I work morning and afternoon which means I'm only home between about 9.30 and I have to leave again at about 2 so I only have like four and a half hours in the middle of the day to try and fit all these things in plus some days I've also got to like put a load of washing on or something like that so um, and then updating my stuff on hand Anyway, there's a bunch of things like that. And then Friday, I try and fit in some more houseworky, houseworky stuff so that um, I don't have to do it on the weekend. And um, yeah, but I'm, you know, now I can put all of these things in here. And then I think there's more things I need to add to this daily tasks. Like at the moment I have water plants only on Fridays because it's been winter, but as it's getting warmer, I'm probably going to have to start doing that every day. Um, and I'd like to try and go for a run every day as well. At the moment, um, it's school holidays, so I don't have to get up for before school care these three days, which means, you know, I can get up at six and then I can go for a run. Whereas on these days I have to kind of get up at about 5.30 and then be at work by quarter past six. So yes, I'm going to give this a go. Sorry if that was really long winded. I just thought I'd explain, but, um, I'm really looking forward to having a good crack at this and seeing if it works out for me. I'll be sure to let you guys know. Hello, welcome back to the vlog. I forgot to keep filming after this morning when I was talking about my journal, but um, Tosca has already come and done the filming today. That's the girl that I was talking about yesterday, I think. And um, yeah, that was really fun. And she just asked me some questions about um, sustainability and fashion, and I just gave her my view on that. Um, and also because she wanted to film over here, um, I tidied up my desk a little bit, so that's kind of bonus. Oh, and she gave me, she gave me chocolates. Thank you, Tosca. She gave me chocolates for doing an interview. I mean, 
so nice. Um, so now I think I'm just going to do some more sewing and I've just been inside making some desserts because we've got friends coming over tonight so I was just doing some cooking and um, yeah so I think I'm just gonna I'm, I'm making the Cleo panel skirts which I've got a whole video on how I've made them before so I'm not gonna film too much now but um, I've got to make another batch of these to send down to designer space in Fitzroy because um, they seem to really like them down there so I'm gonna send some more and oh yeah so yesterday I know I mentioned I was gonna start doing I wanted to do um what's it called inktober and I went and bought an ink I think I mentioned this already but I bought a red ink so that I can do some fashion illustrations based off the prompts and then try and incorporate that ink into it as well so it's still inktober anyway I didn't get around to doing it yesterday I was just so tired um, but I'd like to have a go at it and I still don't know if I'm gonna get time tonight either I might have to do it tomorrow but um, yeah I might see if I can finish these skirts or get them mostly done and then I'd like to have a go at that all right yeah let's see where the afternoon takes us I'll talk to you soon here I know I keep talking about the Inktober stuff but I've decided I'm gonna have to put that in the next one because I just realized I started this vlog on Friday and um, it's Tuesday now so I should probably wrap it up and we can talk about that um, in the next one so I'll see you guys later I also wanted to show you quickly the, um, the two plants looking really happy in the sunshine today oh. I can't get the brightness right but um, yeah they look really good I'm happy with them I can't wait for them to grow down long so I'm sure to, I'll keep you guys updated in following vlogs um, yeah I just I hadn't vlogged in ages and I really missed it so um, it's nice to see you guys again and I hope that I can continue doing this please let me know if you do actually enjoy the vlogs because I've been trying to decide whether I should put out more DIY content um, with actual tutorials and how to do things or if um, I should still be doing like at least once a month putting out a, a vlog I think so yeah let me know before I forget please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it really helps me and encourages me and makes me know that I'm doing the right thing and doing something entertaining so um, yeah and also like if you do like this video please give it a like and I will see you guys in the next video, whether it's a vlog or another refashioned video. I'm not entirely sure yet, but you'll have to subscribe to find out. Okay, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.